Hello and welcome everyone, I'm C.S. Gilmore and this is Crying Suns. We're in the Sector 3 of the second uh, chapter. And we've got a ways to go here still, but we're almost to the Cluster Boss. Let's just kind of push through and see how this goes. I'm not sure if we'll... Like, we're making it further than I thought we would with this, uh, Junker ship. Sir, I got R&D for you. Sir, I hope you don't mind, but since we had a little time on our hands, we went ahead and built a little weapon prototype out of scrap. We think it'll really help you blow our enemies up. Don't you think you should have asked for permission first? Oh yeah, you're absolutely right, sir, but, uh, it's almost complete. Do you want us to finish it or not? Or then to break the weapon down so... Not use up more scrap or give RD team enough scrap to finish the weapon. Sure, let's see what they do. You should have asked first, but excellent initiative team. Take the scrap you need to finish this. Thanks a lot, sir. Always nice to hear you say that. You know how plants feed on the sunlight? Well, your compliments are our nourishment. But did they get me anything good? RD is so weird. Ooh, debris catapult MK2. What is that one? Uh, debris capital. Targets four random cells in area spawns. Asteroid build on each target cell. Different. Or apply decay. Alright, and then another is the one I've had with this. Okay, scavenge. Moving on. Local system. Let's deal with this anomaly and the planetary event. If we can. Imperial battleship, sir. Get out of here, this is our spot. Contact the Imperial ship. Get me back in touch with that ship, Lieutenant. Right away, sir. You again, what do you want this time? You're gonna get us both killed. Tell the captain who you are. This is Admiral Idaho, Grand Admiral of the Fleet. Yeah, and this is Emperor Oberon, Emperor of, you know, the Empire. If you don't get out of here, you're gonna regret it. This captain's been spooked bad, sir. Let's poke it. I can prove who I am who I say I am. What did I tell you? Why couldn't you have just listened to me? This doesn't see look good. This doesn't look good, sir. Yeah, I know. I basically pushed this one, but at the same time. I feel like this person is still very not non reasonable. Could definitely have handled that without being so upset about it. Also, it seems like they're afraid of being discovered by enemies in the area or something. Judging from the fact that they are trying to get me to go away. Let's put you out, and let's put you out. Like, they were worried I was going to lead some enemies to them or something. Oh, that's interesting. That hole is, uh, shielded. Well, no matter. More drones. Pairs going there. Patch them all up. Everyone, go deal with this. You focus on that ship. I just want to. Okay, that didn't go quite as well as I'd hoped. But, okay, well. That knockback from that ship was pretty impressive. I so just get stunned over there. For me, that makes my job easier. Right, let's drop you down and drop you down. Just go focus on them for now. I have enough ships over here, so it won't matter much. Got this one. 
Okay, fine. More drones. I will say the scrapper ship does surprise me at how well it can just throw stuff out. Like, I didn't expect there to be so much ability to literally just throw ships outside of, like, at a rapid pace, even when they're at, like, not perfect condition. Alright, well, next one. Scan the planet. Scan result, secret military base, and ejected cryopod. All right, we've already got guarantees of getting all the stuff, but Intel broker, is there one I, eh, no, let's just do this. Save on our scrap. Go get me stuff. Automated Kosh mech, all right, continuing. Continue, yes. Alright, losing a few people, but alright. Ajrakakumar. Brigit. Alright. I'm strong. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Either way. Continue on to extraction. Yay. Alright. Ashrakakumar. All right. First, Ashrocat. Oops, I I got rid of him. I did not mean to get rid of him. I meant to. I was trying to get more info. Ah, well. happens. Gotta be more careful. I click on. Moving on. We're just gonna keep moving and try to get this done in a timely manner. Hopefully, if there was an unlockable character, it'll still have unlocked. There's some scrap. Okay. Pick up a church ship, but that could change quickly. Collect the scrap. Let's see what our chances are. Is there bad news? The church ship is on the move and head straight for us. Three minutes. Okay. We can return to the ship now or try to fish the scrap before those zealots get here. 50 50 or back to the ship. 50 50. Let's try. Get me that scrap before those zealots get here, Captain. Move with purpose. Whee! Search ship's almost here, sir. Where's Leeds? Leeds. Leeds. Mouth breather's always making me sweat. Too late, sir. Those zealot freaks are here. Dimple of infidels can punish me. Omnis favor me. My thigulations must be working. <laughs> okay. Interesting bunch. That's all good there. Let's do this. Do, 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 do. Wait, what do I have here? Not really. Yeah, okay. There's I guess I don't really have anyone that makes a difference there. So we'll just pull them in. This. Go. This. Go. This. Go. This. Whee! Everyone flies along. Wow, oh, drones move so much faster than other stuff. Oh, I think go well. You, some frigates out of my own, and more drugs. Oh. Drone, drone, you go for that. Ooh, a freezer gun. Alright. That's problematic. Got some good firepower on their ships. What 
gun that is. Not one I'm as familiar with. Just gonna have to focus on their shit, I think. on their hull and everything, take them out. Good. Yeah, it's really weird because you can just throw an endless barrage of ships at them. That's slightly problematic though with how many guns they have on this one. Kitties, knock stuff down, please. Okay, another one out. There we go, try to fish them off. There's the kitties. Could you not knock this stuff off the table? Cats be cats. Freeze gun is kind of annoying. All my layers. No matter. Just go for it. Focus. Just to kill him. Please, thank you. Prototype frigate MK3. Scrapped. Alright. So we had to drop the beacon scrap to get back in time to the ship. At least we wiped out that ship of believers off the map. Good, get this done. Let me check my upgrades now. I should have enough to get the full squadron dock set up. Excellent. That was what I was hoping to get before we got to the boss. Right. There is a map here I want to... First, let's hit the military base, then we'll see if we can... Or, yeah, hit the planet event, then see if we can hit the other one. Thank the machines you're here, the ship is trying to siphon Neo N off our station. Second incoming transmission, sir. Don't believe a word, she says. I saw they were low on fuel, so I was trying to give them some of mine, is all. I know the Omni shut down, but we can still be kind to one another, can't we? I wonder what this guy is worse at. Telling the truth or stealing Neo in? That's a rest of the equipment to bring, sure. This should be fun. Go get our friend and put him in the grave. That should sober him up. Aye aye, sir. I'm curious how this will affect me. Sir, we've put him in the grave. Had quite the little setup on his ship. Guy's been making Neo and Rotka for years. Who said science was dying? That sounds. Like a horrible way it go, really? Goes by the name of Vaughn. Sir, for what it's worth, he says he met you once. Most likely he's never met the original me, but I'll pay him a visit nevertheless. I am interested in what he has to say. I won't believe a word that he says, Admiral. He's clearly unstable. I'll keep that in mind, machine. But he's wearing a pretty official looking uniform, so that leaves me to think that he probably used to be stable. 
I, I don't believe it. It is you, Admiral Idaho, as I live and breathe. And why wouldn't it be? Because you died, or so I believe until now. Ask how he believes, uh, why he believes I died. But surely you've heard the story yourself, Admiral. The story? Yes, I'd, but I'd like to hear your version. There are so many. Well, I'm getting a uh, plan in the house Kosh Bande sectors. There once existed a group of people called the Survivors. As incomprehensible as it is, these people believed the Empire would be better off without the Omnis. Crazy talk, I know. I mean, I, I don't worship the things, but the idea that we'd be better off without them is just plain wrong. After years of abuse at the hands of House Kosh Bande, their numbers down to only a few thousand. They knew they had to fight back or be wiped off the stars. But after years of secretly amassing weapons and resources, they rebelled one day. 26 years ago, six years before the shutdown, House Kosh Bande never saw it coming. After quickly overwhelming local troops and destroying local omnis, who limited by the Rubicon were unable to defend themselves, they shut down the local folk. Oberon, rightfully fearing these terrorists, fearing they might attack other plants, sent you and Vice Admiral Okonkwo to squash the rebellion and protect his subjects. But because the folder was down, it took you and your vows for five years to reach Ganyam, Ganyam from Elysium. By the time you arrived, the survivors were ready for you, more than ready. They had turned Ganyam into a veritable war machine. You asked for their surrender. But it was useless. They weren't going to back... Ugh. That person can't quite sneeze, probably. They weren't going back to the way things were before. To their way of thinking, they were finally free. They had finally secured a future for themselves. You and Akankwo attacked, but soon discovered your few ships were outmatched by theirs. Then, Admiral, you made the ultimate sacrifice. You ordered the other ships to stockpile their makers of darkness. Telos news on a single ship. Your ship. Akankwo begged you not to do it, but we... But you knew it had to be done for Oberon for the good of the Empire, and alone you crashed your ship into Ganyam, setting off an immense chain reaction, vitrifying those terrorists and saving the Empire at the same time. The rebellion had been put down, but not without a cost. Back home in Elysium, your death was mourned by hundreds of thousands, and Oberon, with the eyes of the Empire upon him, proclaimed you the greatest hero the Empire had ever known. But now, now I know it's all untrue. You didn't die. You survived Ganyam. Why, Admiral? Why were you told... Why were we told that story in the first place? Hmm. Which one? Let's go with... Don't know. To be honest, this is the... It's fine, Admiral. I don't expect you to tell me what really happened. How could you? It's kind of above my pay grade. I'm no longer even a member of the fleet. Sometimes I wish I still was, though. Sometimes I wish I was still fighting for all that's good, all that remains. But no offense, I don't think the fleet, not even with the greatest admiral of all time leading it, can save us now. I believe these truly are our final days. Well, let's ask about the survivalists. They've come up a few times and mentioned and suggested they aren't actually dead. Well, have you heard about the survival of Swan? Some people think they may have been behind the shutdown, you know, because they believed we shouldn't rely on the Omni Spray. But they couldn't be, could they? I mean, who killed the survivalists, all of them? Vitrified those poor bastards into glass? Well, that was the story, anyway. You hear rumors every now and then about a ship carrying the last of their kind floating through space, searching for you, Admiral. Searching for me? What for? Payback for what you did to their plan, to their people. I demand they'd be a little sore, don't you? You got other questions, don't you? Let's ask about Kosh Bandai. For whatever reason. Tell me more about House Kosh Bandai. Next to House Telos, they are probably the most powerful house in all of the Empire. That are House Akabarasum. That are House Akabarasum. The Koshes have existed since the beginning, but it seems they never had enough power, not for their taste, anyway. Their abhorrence for the old man was no secret. After all, he's had them and house as under his thumb for centuries. There are rumors the cautious have made several attempts on his life throughout the decades, so nothing's ever been proven. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. It wouldn't surprise me one bit if house 
KB had something to do with the shutdown. You got other questions? Uh, let's ask about Akabira Saw. Tell me more about House Akabira Saw. Those Akis, just like the Kashas, have wanted Oberon out of the picture for decades. They've always resented the old man for having more power than them. Well, the Empire might be theirs if not for Oberon. You can see how that might rub those gene mods the wrong way. I've always thought that maybe they played a part, or a large part even, in the shutdown. Those money grubbers wielded a tremendous amount of power. They would still probably do for that matter. No, you definitely can't rule them out as suspect. They've always thought they're so much better than the rest of us, I have to say. You got other questions? Alright, uh, Maria talked about all those. So is this line of questioning? I have no more questions at this time. I have a sneaking suspicion of other questions, too. How do you know me, sir? My captain tells me we met once. You wouldn't remember me, Admiral. I wasn't highly ranked. You were in the fleet? Yes, many years ago, the first fleet I was discharged always had a problem with the dream. In St. Vond, I flew on the Hyperion too, man. That was a long time ago. I have a sneaking suspicion of other questions. Alright, ask about Admiral Conquo. What do you know about Vice Admiral Conquo? Well, you, heard, you hear a couple of stories about him. One is that he was your best friend, or a hand man, always has been since your days at the Academy together. The other is that he was very jealous of Instead, you were always Oberon's favorite, the golden one, chosen to lead the Empire if Oberon ever stepped down. And El Conquo lived in your shadow and resented you for that. Me, I don't know which story to believe, then again, I'm not much of a gossip. Know what I mean? What I like to do instead is get drunk and hit up the space casinos. Now that's a bit bad. Anyway, knowing Vice Admiral Conquo as you do, only you know the truth there, Admiral. Right. Only a, a, I know the truth there. If only I could remember. I have a sneaky suspicion of the questions. Actually, I don't. I won't keep a former Imperial soldier as a prisoner. If you stay out of trouble and no longer steal, well, you're free to go. Thank you, Admiral. That's kind of you, but, uh, why if I say something before I go? Go ahead. One thing kind of strikes me funny when I think back to the time I met you. And what's that? You haven't aged one bit. How could that be? That's just the darkness in your bond. You plays tricks on the eyes. Yeah, yeah, you're probably... Well, that was interesting. That's one way to get some lore. Scan the planet. And that's good enough for my liking. Which one is the thing that I'd likely need in order to get that last bit of... Well, I can't afford the Intel broker anyway, so let's just go with that. So far, so good. So far, so good. Fuel, scrap, yay, continue. Alright, now can I get the thing here? Drone MK3 Nano. Okay, never mind, we got that. Continue. Didn't I, I didn't actually think I was going to get that one, but alright. Eh. Alright, well there wasn't a lot on that last run there that was worth it, but... Huh. Alright, new drones. Let's take a look at them. Got the prototypes here. This one has a teleport. He's ready to move, that's that. Or these ones, nano. Can't be targeted by adjacent units. Current adjacent target can't move. Interesting. So they have a. They're like a. Anti ship type of drone. Because they can. Lock them down. Huh. Alright. Local system. Go to here. If, just to see if I can get in here and. I don't know. Maybe do some repairs. Incoming message! Admiral, don't attack. At least, not yet. I know it's going to be hard for you to believe me. The whole Imperial. Our relationship is a pretty complicated one, I know, but I'm trying to mutiny on this. But I'm trying to mutiny on the ship. 
But I'll have a favor to ask. If you can attack the ship, it could distract Captain Strobe and really help you in mind pull this thing off. Will you help me out? Help me or not? <laughs> I could send... Ask why you should help. Help the pirates by attacking the battleship. Push on. Send a specialist. Sure. Let's rob them while they're fighting. Uh, now would, could be a good time to straighten the ship, Captain. Pirate? A pirate. I like it, sir. I just... I have just the person for the job. Going for duty, sir. Infiltrate that pirate ship, Lieutenant. It's no imperial crime to steal from thieves. Is there it done, sir? Curious how this will play out. Sir, I found a bit of scrap, but not yet. The mother. Now I'm staying in front of three doors. I think the jackpot's behind, jackpot behind one of them. I only have time to open one. These pirates are closing in. What should I do? Ah, I need another one in order to get that. Be interesting. Oh, it should probably give me some hints. Ah, door number two. Let's go with the second door. Here goes nothing. Wrong door, sir. Nothing here but various pirate torture devices. Get back to the ship. Right away, sir. Well, still got a little bit of it. Visit the shop. Can't do any repairs. He's one that I could, if I unlock him, he'll add to the specialist DNA ones. Emergency repair. Alright, so... Let's sell... These are both pretty useful. You have three skills. Anyone I have repeat skills on. Officer DNA unlock Paul Bayardo. This officer will now be available to your starting roster when their clone is ready. Cool. Excellent. That's good. Can't get any repairs can't or do anything else there. Star map. Oh, they're big. Probably due to cybernetic augmentations, but they're big. Damaged shipping container, sir. Done a quick scan, Admiral. There appears to be a spherical object among the wreckage with an unusual signature. What kind of tech are we talking about here, machine? Doesn't appear to belong to any of the major houses, Admiral. Naturally, we could retrieve and further examine the sphere back on the ship, but not knowing what it is does pose some risk. Sure, let's try it. No pain, no gain, and we don't get fun playing it safe. We need to. Uh, all right, we're on our way. And it's probably a trap pirate bomber tracking place. Sir, we have the object. Spooky thing. Spherical like Caliban said in black. Sir, blackest thing I've ever seen. Looks like it can be opened. Kinda hard to explain, but it looks like it wants you to open it. You want to do, do that back on the ship, right? Assuming you want to do that at all. Sure. Sounds like fun. Put R&D on this immediately. I want to know what's inside this thing. Right away, sir. Bang, it's a horrible monster. We've opened the sphere, sir. And? Damn this thing. There was nothing in there, sir. Nothing at all. Looks like we got worked up over nothing. Space can be do funny things to a person, huh? Was it really nothing? Or am I going to have, like, reports in the next area of, like, everyone getting a mystery virus or some other junk? Shipyard. Actually, I want to go there because... There's a small chance I can get a repair done. <clears throat> Sir, I don't know how to tell you this, but a few of our commandos want to leave the ship. Why, Captain? This church beacon, sir, it's broadcasting some pre-shutdown zealot propaganda. Looks like it messed with their minds. You know, they are pretty tense these days. They don't get much time off. Let them go, you don't have time for this. Give commandos some R&R and space, scrap at next station. Eh. Sure, let's see how this goes. These are indeed a lot under a lot of pressure. Let's give them a little R&R &R and some scrap this man at the next station. That should help. You're kind, sir. Maybe two times. 
fix it to the shop. We yeah, could, yeah, could repair the hull for a little. I only have to sell a few things. Let's get rid of one of those. Not like I need a ton of those anyway. Buy that. There we go. Hull's repaired. And we're moving on. Star map. Small civilian transport vessel, sir. Please don't attack. This is an Imperial ship, Captain. If you're a friend to the Empire, you're a friend to us. Oh, I assure you, we are. The Empire was, I mean, has always been good to us. Very good. Ask where they're headed. Traveling somewhere, Captain? We're trying. Our, our planet, not far from here, was attacked by scrappers. Terrible, vicious, hideous creatures. Thankfully, we managed to escape. Now we're simply trying to find a new home and arrive there in one piece. And where will this new home be? Anywhere that's safe, Admiral. Any moon or planet where we can live without fearing for our lives. Even a trash plant, if not too revolting, would serve our purposes. Ask a plant, uh, Calvin what a trash plant is. A planet where other planets send their trash and stout sewage, Admiral. Do people live there? Not usually, but certain creatures do. You don't encounter many friendly ships like yours these days. So basically, plants which, which just literally have become a giant of garbage dump. I mean, if the planet was already a barren rock type situation, I guess it wouldn't be a huge loss. But, still, you. Please, as a friend of the Empire, take some of our new to assist you on your journey. I don't need it anyway, we're about to hit the final jump here. We'll either die or we'll win and have to reset anyway because new sector. Thank you, Admiral, you are very generous, but we have all the new entry we need. Your, your pride prevents you from taking it? I suppose you could say that, yes. These are not times to be prideful, Captain. Now, if you wish to see this new home and keep your passengers safe, please take it. It is yours. Thank you, Admiral. Please accept this as a show of thanks. It takes up too much space in our cargo, and hopefully, we won't need it anywhere we're going anyway. Sub Zero Gun. Oh, hey, I think that's the ice thing that they were using on me before. Let's uh, check it out. Stop movement attacks and abilities charging off units on targeted cells. No effect on battleship. I like that. Let's equip that. See how well it works if I do the enemy one. Local map. Uh, I'd have to fight the Pragma to use the Army Forge. Not worth it. Moving on. Let's just try to take on this final fight. Zenin's battleship. Zenin. At last, Admiral Idaho, I've heard so much about you and your battleship. Sorry, my cardinals couldn't be more hospitable. I assure you, we take manners very seriously in the church. Which is why, before I kill you, I'm going to say a prayer for you. Put in a good, put in a good word for whatever it is you're heading. An Imperial Admiral, you might be in for a nasty little surprise. You've proven yourself an enemy of the Empire's and in surrender, I have no choice but to destroy you. Surrender? A Pope doesn't surrender. That would be unholy. Now let's get down to business. I have a sermon I want to wrap up. One on how I bravely smashed an evil Imperial battleship. Okay. Well, we're, we got here. Lots of weapons on their ship. I don't like that necessarily. Are you at all useful on this section? All repair points per second. Sure. At least they're useful there. Real quick there. Right. Moving on. You, 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 you. There we go, and they're off. Are so good. And I'll save that for the moment. Let's get you and you out and buddy. Do, 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 
do do do. There we go. There we go. All right. I probably should just focus on their ship. Pretty evident they're dead. Just keep getting my way, otherwise. Helps if I hit them with the laser. Auto crafty bell. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Let's get some units out and see what they can do. there. Could be a drawn out fight apparently. Okay, focus on that. Focus there. I think what I'm going to have to do is just focus on their hull vest uh, for the moment while I take care of their occasional unit as needs or permit or require. There, you cut around there, you cut around there. Let me say, I have enough ships to do. Be a problem. How did I miss that? That goes there, that goes there, that goes there. They've got definitely better guns than I do. pressure up on their ship, then it should work out.
that's a problem. Porter one is that why it's, why it's being a little slow right now? Ah. There we go. Yeah, go deal with that. Deal some damage directly to them, and that should help out considerably. But if they take out my ships, then it should still cause them trouble. Or even if they take it out, it's still yeah, gotten some good hits before then. You go there. You go there. Two, one, boom. is will they give out for I do because my ship is definitely damaged but a lot of that is this guy is definitely helping with his repairability and if I can just get my ships in there it shouldn't matter what well, are you going Yeah, that repairability of his is definitely buying me some time against that annoying... ...gun of theirs that is dealing a ton of damage. Okay, you and you... Let's get you over there. You are gonna go over here. You're going for them, you're going for them. You are going to freeze right there, mister. Alright, focus on taking them out, please. Almost got a last hull piece. Let's see if they pull any weird shenanigans now for this last one. Oh, there goes my last... My second... Yeah, my last hole. bit there. Alright. Looks like it's just a matter of who can take out the other hole first. But I think we're getting our definite uh, strategy in now of how to just focus their hole and ignore everything else. Because... We kind of have
Okay, this is probably going to end up being a loss of my part. Still, this is going a lot better than I thought it would, really. I did not think I would get to the third sector with the scrap junker ship. Okay, if you can get in there, that would help. Get in over there, that would help. for that. Hoping to get them in there a little better. No matter. And it got me. Almost had him though. I'm kinda surprised you guys close as we did. You and your crew are dead because of your decisions, Admiral. You have to do better if you're going to save the Empire. Proceed with mind. And download and try again. Awakening and restart. Let's see how this works. Caliban, your mind download is finished, Admiral. Ready to start again? Ready to try again? I've been up to this point. Ask Caliban questions. Okay, what? Anything new? Survive. How, how Calvin survived the ballast by the. Alright, yeah, there's a few things here. How do I have the memories of the old Idaho Club? I remember him dying. That's your mind download. The last Caliban was recording and sending back the previous Idaho clone's memories to Ghana almost all the time. This was done in the interest of learning from any potentially mortal encounter in the clusters. But the original Idaho's emotional memories. No, you still can't recall those memories. Not yet, anyway. Just for your information, the last Idaho did ask many questions. Yes, I did. Uh, ask how Cal then survived the battle. Easy, you didn't. How are you here? One of me was on the battleship, but there are many Calvans on Ghana, just as there are many Idahos and many Leans, for that matter. I'm lucky we are to have been handpicked by Oberon to be a part of Ghana, to die over and over in his name for the preservation of his creation. Just for your information, the last Idaho, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ask if clones can ever truly die. We can't truly die, can we? You can, you've just shown that, vividly. But you can't stay dead in that sense. You and the crew are immortal. But it's kind of the worst immortality there is. You still die and it hurts a lot each time you do. Just for your information, the last Idaho did, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ask how many Idaho clones there are. How many me's, how many of us are there in this place? Hundreds of thousands of various stages of development, all presently sleeping and dreamless sleep in their pods. Just for your, yeah, yeah, blah, blah. Ask if my crew also died. Well, duh. Died, yes. As a result of your leadership, I have since awoken additional models of the same crew members. I figured you'd prefer to stick with the same team given the sacrifices they've made for you. I've also awoken some specialist officers that seemed ready. Just for your information, the last Idaho did ask questions. Alright, looks like we're good. Your mind download is finished, Admiral. Ready to try again? Customize ship. Good, now don't die this time. Alright. So yeah, we got a lot fa farther with the Chaos class than I thought we would. I really didn't expect that. Uh, let's go with this one this time and... Yeah. Alright, we have some specialist officers we can pick from. Looks like we can only pick one specialist. Uh, emergency repair was very good. This is the only reason we last as long as we did in that battle. Alright. And you offer which abilities? Book gear inside. All right. Yeah. Let's get heat sustained by systems for battleship weapons. All right. Increased heat would be good. Oh, I still can only select two. Okay, good to know. Let's see. That's all good. That's all good. Normal start. Alright. 
Well, I'm not sure how all of this will affect things. Single Pragma battleship signature has been detected in the system. They will always be protecting an Imperial Omnitech, Omnifor, Dorneo, and Hypergame. Be careful, they are powerful enemies in battle. Okay. Yeah, I do like the original ship's improved scanner capabilities, among other things. Well, anyway, I'm going to wrap this episode up here, though. So we got to see how that last section goes a bit. And what happens when you die? We got really close to being it, though. Which is a shame that we didn't quite make it. Would be nice to just continue that. As it is, I think I've given a pretty good rundown of how this game goes. There's definitely a good bit of lore. It, I think I mentioned before, it kind of gets a little repetitive on some of the stuff that you mentioned. But I think they did it just as a means of making sure you could cover some of the basics, even if you were picky about which ones you pick. Um, I think I might wrap this series up here though for now, unless I decide to play this game more. Like, I don't think they're, like, unless we actually make progress progress, I don't feel like we're gonna get enough content to really have more stuff for the most part, other than conversations here and there, if we stumble upon them. Most of it's otherwise go to place, interact with thing through brief conversation, 50-50 chances on a lot of stuff. How do you handle your stuff? How, how do you handle your resources? Battleship, battleship, battleship. Yeah, I don't know. Like, they have a good mix of things, but at the same time, those things tend to feel very similar each time. And I just, I don't think I have enough interest in this game right now to go through every chapter in the game to even really try that. That said, it is a good game. Like, the combat works well, thing, everything handles well. And it looks nice. I think there might be a little too much talking in times, even for me, who enjoys the lore and everything like that for games. It feels like there is a lot of breaks in things that, and the, the progress through the scenario takes a long time. Even if I'm just skipping through the star systems. But at the same time, you can't just skip through because you need to have things happen in order to get the resources you need. So, I don't know. It's a little... It definitely makes you have to make choices on how you want to handle it. I'm not quite sure how I feel about this game. I like it, but at the same time, like I don't have the interest to keep going through all of it. Hmm. Maybe seven out of ten rating. I don't know. I have to think on it. But thanks all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, hit like, hit subscribe if you haven't already to keep up with new releases and. I don't know. If you are enjoying this game, want to know more, I recommend giving it a try. Support this developer. They do good work, and I do like the look of the game. I do like how it handles, like I said. It's a good game. It just, uh, I just, yeah, don't want, I just don't feel like it's going to do me the most good to continue on for now. <sighs> so, good night, everyone. Bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>